All right. Hello, everybody. I'm here with my peacock uh, inspired tissue box journal. And it's finished, and I was going to do a flip through, but I thought I would also share some things I've learned. Uh, this is my first time using a tissue box to make a journal, and I learned a few things along the way. So, quick recap I used the tissue box. This is ripped right here, but imagine that wasn't ripped. It's one of the long rectangular ones that have this hole here. And so I removed all this plastic. <clears throat> and what I used was the one side, which we kind of flap on the inside, the top, this side, and a little bit of the back to create a front cover and a back cover and an inside flap is what I did. So a couple things I learned. First of all, if I was to do this again, which I'm going to do this again, and I'll make a tutorial as I do the cover again. Um, I would put some more support along this piece right here. This piece becomes so thin right here and that it wants to bend right here and right here and it becomes very weak. And so um, I think next time I might on the inside put some cardboard or card stock, something thicker across here and across here. In this journal, I added a piece to the front right here. You can see there's a bend right here. Well, it's starting to get kind of weak. Um, I added a piece right here to help with that. Um, but I think what I would do is add the piece inside and then cover over it so you don't see it. The other thing is um, this opening here because there is no, it's completely open and nothing to support it. Um, this wants to like, it gapes open a bit um, and it does this weird bendy thing. So I think what I would want to do also is get some clear um, plastic, like thicker plastic, still flexible, but thicker. It comes in packaging and put a whole sheet of it right here over to create a clear window. So it would actually be something here that would support this edge and support this edge, but you'd still be able to see through it. So those are things that I would do differently. Also, I would try and control myself and not put as much inside. Um, got a little carried away. It's easy to do. Um, but yeah, so here is the Peacock Journal. Um, I tried to use as much of scraps and bits and pieces that I could. So I'll open it up. Uh, this right here, this piece came off of the tissue box also. And I made a little spot. I'll put this tag. And this piece right here is, oh, I'm grabbing one. Ah, like if you have these old seam binding packages, it's the cardboard inside that the seam bindings wrapped around. And it was actually this color. This is the color that it was, which I thought how perfect. So um, I decided not to like cut the corners off, decided not to add anything to the top because I already have lace here. I did add some writing paper on the back of it and just left it simple like that. So that's in there. And then this flips open and there's magnets here, 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 and here. Uh, the problem is when I, I did used all different book pages over the magnet, the paper got all weird. So my daughter had the idea of doodling some flowers and some vines to kind of cover up the magnets, which I think she did a great job. And it really does let, help the magnets to blend in and you don't see them as much. Um, and then right here, there you go. And I used a napkin over a book page here. And then this is the white part of the napkin because you have to peel the layers off. And this is just the white part of the napkin, which I added here, which gives it a nice, you can write on that now, um, a journaling spot. So when that just slides, I made a pocket right in there. Okay. And here's the journal itself, paper dyed with blueberries. I sewed along the edge um, to make a trim. And then this is a piece of wallpaper, which in fact is the thickest part of this journal. And I don't think if I was doing it again, I would use the wallpaper again. It added a lot of bulk, especially this technique, because I folded it and folded it and folded it to make these two separate pockets. 
I almost took this page out, um, but I already worked so much on it and I really liked what I had done. So I made this out of a paint chip right there. And I used, um, this is just a tea stained index card. I make lots of them and I like to use them on the back for writing areas. So there's that. And this is a Project Life card. Just a, just slipped in there. And this is the reason why I didn't take this piece out, even though it's so thick, is because I already had already glued this in. And I really, really liked this piece right here, which came off of um, a hanky. And then I made this tag right here. Printed this off the internet and added the bits. And there's another. I tried to stick with purples and blues, all shades. I, I go everywhere from the teal to this, this dark, dark blue. Um, and the lighter purple to the more darker purple. Um, I think it all works. Uh, she prefers blue, but I didn't have that much blue in my stash. So I was going with what I had um, and added the purple in. So this page right here, again, blueberry stained. And you can see these lines. This is from my uh, dyeing process. When I dye my papers, I have this metal rack that I lay them on. And apparently the blueberry dye had a chemical reaction with the metal on the rack, which gave these lines. So I didn't actually, I didn't add these lines in. That came in from the dyeing process. But I did add this right here. This, I used a doily and some ink to create that stencil right there. Um, the young woman I'm giving this to loves peacocks and she's writing, she's writing a story about peacocks. And so I wanted to make sure I had left lots of writing space. So a lot of blank pages. Um, so here, this page is, this is an envelope and I created this tag. Uh, this is a piece of uh, scrapbooking paper. Add a little tab to it and it's on a Project Life card. And this was an envelope. And I decided to just leave the back of the envelope. I could have covered the paper, but I decided to leave it so you see that it was an envelope. Uh, and I used seam binding here. And I don't know if I can show you. I overlapped one edge on the back side and glued that down, which makes this, gives us a stronger edge. It was a very thin papery edge. And I had folded the envelope up, envelope up to create a pocket right here, which this slides into. And then I covered this with fabric, but it flips up. So there's actually a little secret writing spot right there. Um, so that is this page. All right, we here I had some music paper, which I had folded up to create a pocket, and then I added the trims to it. This was a, just a page out of a book. I decided to leave it completely whole. Um, I don't know, I'm a nature nut, um, and I like the fact that I can actually read about the flower, but I did add a bit of lace and an index card to the back of it to make a tag. And on here, I just added a, a napkin. There's two separate napkins. This one was just a design, and then I cut this out of another napkin to add that into there. Slide that back in. And up here, if you see the lace, I actually created, there's a pocket between these two pages, and this slides out the top. And it's just a very simple tag right there made somebody actually made this and sent it to me but it's made with a napkin as well over book pages so slide that back in all right a page out of a journal more blueberry stained paper that i've stenciled over uh here i have a peter Rada page i wanted to because she's writing i want to include some book pages from uh some of her favorite children's stories so i talked to her mom and peter rabbit was one from her childhood. So this, this pulls out um, and this comes off and flips down for writing. You can also flip it up if you want to. And there's a little Peter Rabbit there. And, um, and again here, and I have these little words, favorite tales. And if I could put this back, I would show you Apparently, I cannot work paper clips today. 
So when this is closed, you can actually see the word favorite tales right there. That's actually on the page below. Tricky, tricky. All right. Uh, this die cut and glued along the bottom and glued along the side, which made it into a little tuck spot right there and a tag I made using paper napkin and lots of book pages underneath. Uh, add a little texture paste, little texture paste right there. The next card in the back and I sewed around the edge. Seam binding from Kelly Snow's shop on Etsy, which I'm addicted to. All right, just a plain paper with some washi tape. I didn't do much to this paper. I thought it was already a really nice page and that's the center. So we're going on the other back half. Um, and just a little stamp and this flips out and pulls out. And this is just, um, just a fun little piece of paper there. And decided to paper clip it. It makes it easier to pull it in and out, but I didn't want the paper clip to be the pull tab. If you pulled, you could just pull the paper clip off and leave the paper inside, which would not be fun. So I kept them separate. Uh, some words here, do all the good you can. And another tuck spot made. And this is just an envelope with just some tea stained lined paper and just put a little washi type tape at the top. I probably should have put a little stamp there. I might do that. I might put a little bird stamp or something on it. All right. And then just some plain pages. There we go. The other half of the music sheet. Uh, I'm, this was another napkin. I had no clue I had it and some yarn at the top. I was shocked to find another peacock napkin, but it worked. There we go. And I have another one of these up here. Same exact as the other one. Two identical sheets. Maybe use. Here, another childhood book, Winnie the Pooh. And this flips open, so right there. Plain paper. And then this is a belly band made from paper and puzzle pieces. I did not make this, someone gifted that to me, but the colors worked and it was great. Got this idea also, um, made matchbook a little paper in there add some tickets at the back just for some color and it also creates support it makes it thicker back here so it doesn't bend and i used a napkin on the outside of that as well i got another book page this one's from uh, little house on the prairie printed this off the internet it's just on whoops cardstock peacock there uh, and I made this. I found her as I was um, ripping all the book pages at the very, very beginning. I found this picture and then I read what was underneath uh, and she's actually, she's a writer. And so I kept the little words and I just moved them up here um, as just an inspiration of a woman writer uh, who apparently wrote and was a favorite of Queen Victoria. Who knew? But out in the back is just... This is also an index card. You can get them with the graph on them. So just a tea stained index card. I love my index cards. Yep. And then we're at the back of the journal. We'll do this first. So here you can see this is the, this was the uh, tissue box and I just covered it with more papers, different papers. And here's uh, a list of 10 greatest novelists of all time, which I put that there. And then here's the list right here. In the back, it's just plain purple paper, uh, which I did mean to ink. I'm going to ink around the edges and I think I'm just going to leave it plain. I really debated what to do and I think I'm just going to leave it plain. Uh, but back to this, which was the whole inspiration for the entire journal. Uh, this is a napkin that I cut out and uh, put over a book page. And then this is this plastic is the plastic that you get like cereal bags, like in cereal boxes and cracker boxes. So I sewed the, 
the plastic around the page, the book page, which makes a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back, which is where I have this tag. Um, and the tag, it's just a ribbon. I love the ribbon. I wanted to include the ribbon. I thought, why not just use the ribbon? Um, and I stapled it. So the ribbon goes all the way up and over and I tucked it under and I stapled it. And then I covered this end with buttons so you can't see it. And then here I have a picture from the Little House on the Prairie book. Um, and the young woman I'm giving this to, her name is Mary. And here it's, it, it's actually talking about Mary and that's Mary flying down from the haystack. Um, and this color right here, this comes from the same napkin. It was some extra bit of napkin and I just included it up there. So this is a spot where she can tuck um, pieces of paper. She can tuck away little notes, anything she might want to keep in there. And all I did was paper clip it. Have a fancy paper clip. Paper clip it. So there we go. All in all, I believe it was 10. No, I, I think it's nine. Nine pieces of paper in the end. I should probably count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's two glued together, seven, eight, nine. Um, and once it's filled, it's kind of thick. I really should have, um, restrained myself a bit, but it works. So there's the Peacock Journal made out of a tissue box. Um, and there'll be a tutorial coming soon on how making another cover with the new knowledge that I have, but for now. I'm going to go deliver this one and hopefully make a young woman happy. Thanks for watching.